What's going on everybody? Welcome to part two of our OpenCV with Python tutorial series. In this video, what we're gonna be talking about is interacting with a webcam or a video file within OpenCV. As I mentioned before, doing analysis on images versus analysis on video is very, very similar because video breaks down to frames, and frames are just like images. So a lot of what we're do going to do in this series is actually gonna be working with a webcam feed, but again, if you just if you don't have a webcam or you don't have a video you wanna use, uh, you can just simply um, use an image or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're In order to work with a uh, video feed, we're gonna go ahead and obviously need CV2, and then we're also gonna import NumPy as NP, and now we're going to say it's cap equals cv2 dot video capture zero. If you capture zero, this will be the first webcam in your system. You can also capture via you know one. This will be the second webcam. I am going to use the number one because the first webcam you are watching right now. There is a second webcam ready to go. So I'm going to use one. You should use zero unless you have two, of course, or three or whatever. So now, what we're going to do is we're just going to have a while loop here. While true, so this should be an infinite loop going on and on and on. Uh, we're going to say the return in the frame is equal to uh, cap.read. What happens here is uh, you're going to get a true or false here, and then you'll get the frame. So if there is a feed to be had, you'll get that. Uh, otherwise, um, You'll read. So later on, like if you wanted a, a video feed to eventually die, like if it was a video, you could actually s define that this may be up here and then, or, you know, while true, this, and then check if return was false or something like that. Anyway, moving along, <laughs> not important right now. Uh, what we can do is we can actually say cv2.mshow, mshow, mshow, and we can show the frame and we'll give it a name frame okay easy enough so this would be the color frame and then we can just since this is an infinite loop we need some way to get out of the infinite loop so then what we ask is if cv2 dot wait key one and and um for most of this we're really not gonna it doesn't really matter you can even say wait key zero but here you can use this um so if the key is equal to Q, whoops, Q, we want to break the loop. And then what's going to happen is you want to cap.release. And this releases the capture so the camera will be released. Because if you try to use a camera that's in use, you're going to get an error. So think of it like saving a file. If you try to modify a file that's already open somewhere else, you can run into problems. So then cv2.destroy all windows. Good. So we should be set. So let's go ahead and run that really quick. And sure enough, you get my pretty face or your pretty face. Hopefully, hopefully you actually don't get my face on your camera. <laughs> okay. And you press Q and I'm watching. Um, so, uh, so, so that's how you can do just a simple frame. You can actually pull up multiple at a time. So, um, pretty quickly, what you're going to do is you're going to start modifying that frame. So, for example, we can say gray, and gray is going to be we're going to have we're going to apply a gray function uh, to the frame. So, we're going to say gray equals cv2 dot uh, cvt for convert color. What are we going to convert the color of the frame? What are we going to convert it to? Cv2 dot uh, all caps here color underscore bgr uh, blue green red to gray okay so now we've got gray so then we'll do another cv2.m show gray and gray now throughout this entire uh, tutorial i'm gonna there's gonna be times where i'll have like six of these things going at the same time uh depending on what kind of computer like if you're on like a netbook or something or maybe an older computer that's gonna it's gonna be super laggy for you so just kind of keep that in mind man you got uh, harrison's all over the place here anyway uh, just keep that in mind that you might only want to open up like one at a time if you're lagging pretty hard. But anyway, so there you have, you've got two frames here. So then what can happen is like the frame on the, the left is the natural one. And then on the right is the one that you're applying all your, um, you know, analysis to or whatever. 
and you know recognizing objects and all that so you can kind of see both the original and the, the modified version so anyway so those are your, uh, that's how you can you know kind of display and do analysis on a video so basically all your analysis will happen within this while true loop now you may actually want to output the file somewhere so the way that you can do something like that is the following so we can say uh, the codec that we want to use is cv2 dot video writer underscore codec and we're gonna say we want it to be uh, xvid and that should work for all operating systems so correct me if I'm wrong but that should that should do it and then we're gonna say the out file is gonna be equal to cv2 dot video writer might not actually might not work on Mac I don't know anyway video writer uh, and then we'll just call this output.avi, the codec that we want to use. Um, and we can put in, we'll just put 20.0 and then uh, the uh, size of this will be 640 by 480. Okay. Then uh, what we want to do is every time we want to, we can write to that output. So we can say like out.write, uh, we'll write the frame. And then once we finally release this, we need to out.release. And that should save our, our actual file for us. So let's go ahead and run that real quick. What were we, uh, out was writing the frame. So this should be a color video that, uh, oops, we uh, misspelled for somewhere. Try again. Okay, good. All right, let's exit out of this. Maybe. Oh, we got an error when I tried to exit. Video writer does not have a real, uh, we, we type it again, oh my goodness. We might actually have a problem there uh, since we never released it. I think if you, at least on Windows, even if you don't release the file, um, when you by the time you close the program, that acts as a release, but we'll see. So output, let's just play it in VLC, see what happened. Okay, I mean that worked. So uh, we got away with it somehow. <laughs> anyway. Uh, where am I? Uh, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Okay. So anyways, um, so that's how you can, uh, view images or view video basically, and then also save the video, um, as well. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to be talking about is how we can actually draw things with OpenCV. So you were shown in the previous video that you can use matplotlib and sure you could, you can draw in matplotlib. You can write in matplotlib. You can do all that in matplotlib, but actually it turns out that OpenCV has its own methods for drawing things like, uh, rectangles and circles, and you can even draw various polygons, stuff like that. So we're going to be talking about that in the next tutorial as well as writing and stuff like that. If you have questions or comments on this tutorial, you have any, any trouble or whatever, feel free to leave them below. Again, just don't forget that you're capturing probably zero, not one. Also, if you want to load in a video file, you could load in a video file uh, like this. Okay, uh, and that should be good enough. So um, anyway, questions, comments below. Otherwise, stay tuned to the next video. Thanks for watching.